Welcome to another week in my life vlog. We are really all over the place. Lots of running. I do a grief update, kind of like catching you guys up. I've been feeling really anxious, so I feel like I even can't really speak. Like it's hard for me to get my thoughts across at points in this video, but it's very real. It's very raw. And then we also throw Macy a surprise belated birthday party, and I'm giving you guys a huge haul because I've gotten so many things recently that are so cute that I think y'all will love. So enjoy the video. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. We're just gonna vlog a cute couple wholesome days at home. It's 7 a.m. Actually, I think it's like 7 30 now. Oh, hello, Fitz. And I'm going to go on a run. I have a run today, and then actually this morning, I also have a little cute spin class. This is my favorite pre workout that I've been drinking. It's really good for runs. I've never been like a pre workout girly, but I love this stuff. It tastes so good, and it genuinely like really helps me. So, running update, everyone. I filled my water with an electrolytes powder. This is from Powders. I wonder if they do codes. Maybe I should do a code, but what I've been drinking, I drink these in my water all the time, especially in recovery. And then I have powders, the pre-workout rainbow snow cone. When I get home, I typically will drink some water with some Kian Amino. They're good for like muscle building, athletic recovery, things like that. So I love these. And it tastes good. I drink the lemon lime, cool lime flavor powder. Okay, we're gonna chug this. I'm gonna be wired. I got a Garmin watch, but if I just set it up and it's literally in another language. Like, what am I supposed to do about this? I wanna go on a run like now. I got my Garmin set up. I have my headphones. I don't even need to put those on yet. Um, I was gonna say, I've just been way more anxious the past couple of days. I think it's because we had crazy storms this week. I'm sure you guys probably saw it on the news or maybe you didn't if you're not in Texas, but basically like there are the biggest trees you've ever seen in your life that got taken out by the wind, okay? They're out like roots up. Like it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I was without power for like a day. A lot of people lost it for like three or four days. Anyways, it was really crazy. I had a friend in town and I just like, we didn't leave my house, which is like what I like to do. I like to do nothing and just sit with friends. But I think that like the storm and being stuck here and everything and just like obviously this year, I just been more anxious. So with that being said, so just like some of that anxiety, it's like I've just been like needing to go on a run. Running has been so helpful for me. If you guys are going through any loss, any grief, anything like that, seriously start running. Nike Run Club, I'm not kidding, life changing. I'm only doing a 5K plan because I was truly not a runner before, but like now look at me, I have a Garmin watch that means I'm a runner, okay? I got the Garmin, like it starts with a V. I'll link it below. Um, I'm very excited about it. I finally just joined Strava. I'm doing my first Strava run this morning and then I use Nike Run Club app. I changed shorts by the way, I stay in the other ones. We're off on our Saturday morning run. Today is a 30 minute run. This week I did a 36 minute run, speed run, but today is just, I think an easy run. Yesterday was 25, we're kind of like going back and forth. My anxiety has just been so high lately and Running has been so helpful. I feel like there's just so much like stuff stored in my body So getting out on a run like it seriously like saves me I'm not kidding like I don't know how it would be surviving if I wasn't out running because like you have to like get everything out of your body I can't describe it All right, I finished my run I ran two point I think seven six or seven miles and I did a 30 minute run Five minute warm up and then we had oh, there's a runner gotta go one sec I ran 30 minutes, it was a tempo run. I stopped at 2.7 and I was like, I should've just gone out and finished at three. But tomorrow I have like my 5K run, not the like race, but like the actual run. So I feel good. And I just decided I was gonna stop and do just actual running plan while my hair looks amazing because we've spent class and I have a run tomorrow. So anyways, it is, it's actually amazing now because the storm is like not that hot. Well, was it nice sleeping in? Yeah, it was. Like, I can only imagine, like, sleeping in was, like, really easy no. and just, like, good, it, you know? No, trust me. It's so important to know your body, no. though. Recovery is just as important as the yeah. workout. Yeah, and if you can't make it up for an early morning, Saturday morning, you know, that's not your that, fault. That's not my fault. It's not no. your fault. No. no. Like, guys, recovery, like, say it with me, like, is hey, so important. Hey, hey, Ken Squad, comment down below if you're a recoverer <laughs> or a runner. 
Yeah. I'm we're, a big recovery girl. We're actually on our way for a nice, brisk little Taylor Swift spin class that was made for us, might I add. Did you, have you noticed anything different about me? Not tan. Oh, your watch. <gasps> oh my god! Thanks for bringing yes. that! Wait, wait, the camera did that, that wasn't like... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you noticed anything different about me? Like... Is that a new watch? <gasps> yes, it's a Garmin watch! It's cute. Thanks, I bought it myself. Sorry, as as you guys know, I'm the recovery person. Oh, I'm already on my electrolytes. I, I too am recovering from my run. Um, you guys, Loki, I did, like did not sleep this week, Loki, so my. Yeah, need to leave, actually. Okay, yeah. So your what? My sleep was so good. Like Macy's been so busy. It's annoying. Yeah, like, she's been on the town. Um, she leaves again. Like right after the spin class. What time is your flight too? Two. But I'm, I was so dedicated to coming to the spin class. I was like. Yeah. It was just finally we've been asking for it forever. Yeah. So, anyways, we have to go. I have a great playlist on. All right, y'all. We just finished our Taylor Swift spin class. It was amazing. We just decided that all weekend or all summer long, every Saturday we're together. Tri we're doing triathlon. You start off with a morning run, then you go to spin class, and then the pool. This is so exciting. No, like this is amazing, and I'm so excited for my non-alcoholic spritzes because we can have a spritz by the pool, yeah. and I'll you know my cooler that comes out. Yeah. Oh my God, it's really and then like at 5 p.m. we can have a real one, but like. Day drinking yeah. is more for the vibe. Like you never really date. Like day drinking, you just want a cute drink, but like then you feel so gross by afternoon, like by evening yeah. time. So you have like a cute little day drink, then you'll have, you can have like a real spritz come like 5 p.m. when you're cooking dinner. Yes. Yeah. And then we either go out to eat or we barbecue. Obsessed. And you know how I'm gonna do my theme barbecue nights this summer? Yeah. Which I can't start until like July because yeah. I'm gonna be home. Yeah. So that's like kind of becoming an issue, but that's it's good. oh, it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna do themed barbecue and pool nights where I just invite the most random group of people over. And then we have a theme, and then they have a barbecue cook-off. I'm dealing with the guest list, so just DM me. Yeah, yeah, she's in charge of the guest list. Totally. Like I said, big storm. Branches everywhere. I haven't really gotten rid of them yet, clearly. So we're gonna do a little backyard cleanup. I'm back from, you know, part of my triathlon, basically. This branch just fell. Like, there are massive, massive trees just out by the root. Like, how does wind do that, you know? The good news is that my flowers are finally blooming, which is amazing. Like, they look so cute. Okay, so garden damage. That's, I haven't, I mean, it's so wet. Also, guys, look at my carrots. Like, I clearly didn't, like, separate them enough. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. I'm just going to leave them for a bit. Like, this is just one, it seems. But a lot of them are multiple and I don't like how this is all these used to like stick right up so it's a little tangled but like you can see the carrot there like it's ready to come out and then I needed to actually a trellis oh well those might be done for but trellis there's literally like stops away right now on Amazon so I'm going to handle this and just do my best I have string to attach it to and like we'll just see how that works but it's oh my gosh this has grown so much it's insane, like, what this past week has done. Like, these, I feel like they're getting really close to done. But, basically, these have to go yellow and fall to the side. And then they're ready, is from what I've learned on Google. But, look at the cut flowers over here. I did the chaotic method, is what I'm getting at. I just threw the seeds. The other one, I started indoors. And, of course, this is the one that's doing better already. <laughs> This is my makeup. This is my makeup. I've been doing a very, very minimal, like no makeup makeup look. Okay, so this takes me about two minutes. First things first, this golden hour sunscreen. It's amazing. I get it in golden hour, but it's called Glow Screen um, from Supergoop. I've used this product for potentially even eight years at this point. I feel like I've used this product for the longest time. 
the best tinted sunscreen and it blurs out your skin your pores disappear it's amazing and it's sunscreen so it's great I do alternate between a couple of different things so right now what I've done I've rediscovered my hourglass powders and I love these so I use everything from here this is dim light this is in this powder I just use it because it's bigger and easier to grab but it's the exact same product this is amazing the dim light powder just like makes your skin look so good and then I do go with a little bit of bronzer a little bit of blush and that's it oh I think I forgot to say that sometimes I'll go in with liquid blush underneath depending on my vibe this is happy or beauty love I made a Sephora order recently and I randomly picked up this is it Lola Hendrickson or Ola Hendrickson I never know but I love this it's the pout preserve peptide lip treatment I love the color that it gives my lips and it stays on and it makes my lips just so moisturized. The other thing I do, I totally forgot, I use the e.l.f. brow gel and then I just go in with a little spoolie and I brush out my brows. Very simple. American Girl invited Soph and I in. We are going in for the bistro also with my stepsister, Sophie's mom. Um, we are going in for a little lunch res and then she has a little private VIP shopping experience after. This girl's living large, all right? The outfit I'm obsessed with, we'll get to that in a second. Here is the fit, this jacket. I am in love with it. I copied Chelsea, she wore it to JC's baby shower. She had the pants too. It is literally the cutest jacket ever. It's from Dams and Matter. I've actually purchased from them before. The Instagram ads got me, but I just, I'm obsessed. I got a couple things from them, and I love it. This tank is Skims. These, my skirts from Macy's, and then I'm just wearing my Tacovas, my Red Abbeys. Very American Girl coated. I'm on Aunt Duty today, so I feel like this is like the perfect fit. It's so cute, and then I have these earrings on. I did put a little bit of mascara on it just because I felt like it looked a little weird because I was wearing like an actual outfit. I just placed a big online jewelry order and I got two skirts from Hill House. I need long skirts all summer long with tank tops and then like a lot of jewelry and then no makeup basically. Like that is my summer look. So I just ordered a ton. I'm actually last minute going to Miami next weekend. I just put my flights to go see Liz. So I'm really excited for that. I just needed better fits, you know? Happy Monday guys, it's two days later. Um, I'm back wearing my Casper like blanket robe thing it's amazing it's like 1 p.m on monday so yesterday i ran a 5k it wasn't actually like the race i, I don't actually don't even know if i'm gonna be in town for the race now but i did run a 5k which is the longest that i've run we feel very good about that then we went to church we did a bunch of stuff i don't know i was honestly i've had like a rough week and this morning i worked out i went to brain codes i've been doing my neurofeedback thing again it's very helpful i'm actually recording an entire podcast episode with the founder tomorrow here so we'll talk more about that then and um i had therapy worked out did the whole thing and now it's monday and macy and i are gonna have a co-working afternoon macy doesn't know this we're actually throwing her a surprise birthday party yes her birthday was February 16th, but you know, better late than never. All right, she was on a bachelorette and then she was taking care of me and she's been in like five weddings this year. So she's really been booked and busy every weekend. Like there wasn't even a time to throw her a party because she was like celebrating everyone else. So we're throwing her a cute little like surprise party and obviously she's gonna have absolutely no idea because you know, it's literally June and her birthday is in February. Okay, I'm having like the weirdest hair day of my life. We're gonna start off on a positive note. A um, Couple things that I'm loving. First things first, this little contraption, contraption, literally made out of a comforter, but it's a robe. I just think like everyone in the world needs this thing. Also for earrings and stuff, I've been loving all of Jules. Like I've been wearing their stuff like nonstop, it feels like. So that's been great. Coffee, I'm almost out of my coffee. This is amazing. The Chobani Sweet Cream Coffee Creamer. There's nothing like it. It's so good. Um, and my entire family, I put them all on it. And now we all like drink our Chobani coffees every day. And we like send each other like the flavors that we got at Target. You know, like the things that like excite you in life. Also, I've been very into scents. I've been really into Ellis Brooklyn. This is the one that got me into their scents to begin with. Mainly, I'm not gonna lie, because the scent just smells that good. It, oh my God, like it smells unbelievable. I, this smells like a perfume that my mom wore growing up 
and I remember the scent so well. Almost like tropical, it's very refreshing, it like puts me in a good mood. I'm just so affected by scents, like even growing up, I would always have um, like different candles and stuff burning and then I would burn them when I moved out and that would be very comforting to me, whatever. I'm trying to find like the simple small joys in life right now. Since day to day, love. And this Alice Brooklyn stuff is unbelievable. They have a new Miami scent as well. That's amazing. I'm actually going to Miami this weekend. Found out that they're actually a clean brand. My mom thinks she's Gwyneth Paltrow in the sense that she's like so clean and like, I don't even, like sometimes the word she's, I don't even know what she's talking about. But it has made me learn a lot, you know, whether it was against my will or not, but now I'm really grateful for it. It's made me learn a lot about what is in like products and scents and stuff and it's like kind of freaked me out. So when I found out that this was a clean brand, I became like obsessed with them. So thank you to Alice Brooklyn for partnering with me on this video. They're also PETA certified, cruelty free and vegan. The bottles are made of glass so they're also recyclable. But I did want to say that I found the scent before I learned all of the like pros of the brand because a lot of the time clean fragrances have not really been for me. I just feel like a lot of them like didn't actually like last or do anything or, or whatever. And this one I have been using for a bit before I even learned that and it lasts a long time. It smells amazing. I get compliments everywhere I go. And then when I found out it was clean, I was like, that's absolutely amazing. So like literally so amazing. This feels so luxe, a little like magnetic clasp. It really combines like a luxurious lifestyle with clean beauty. They're also 50 milliliters, so you get like a lot of product in here. I love the price point. I love these things. I cannot recommend them enough. So I've been loving Alice Brooklyn. All right, so y'all can shop Alice Brooklyn in my description. I have it linked below. Oh, I've also been loving running. That's something I really wanted to talk to you guys about. Running has been the best thing that I have done for myself, especially in this grief journey. I'm going to get through this very quickly because this is the part that always makes me cry. And this video, highs and lows, like I said, highs and lows. All right, we're, we're going everywhere. I lost my little brother, if y'all are new here and didn't see this, I lost my little brother um, in January of this year. He was 20. We were very, very, very close. It was very unexpected. And I loved my brother. Like, whew, okay. I'm bringing this up because, you know, we're talking about life and there's a lot of like good life lessons and things that I wanted to talk to you all about. Um, I wanted, normally I feel like this would be a solo podcast episode, but we have so many amazing interviews coming up in the next couple of months. We're really batched out. Like I don't have any time for solos. So I just wanted to sit down and chat with y'all today here on my YouTube channel, like the good old days. Talk about things. Okay, so back to like what I'm avoiding. Basically, I am like, you know, in, deep in grief. I'm only like three and a half months out of it, not out of anything, but since it happened. And running has been something that has been so helpful to me like when you you really unless you've experienced grief and loss especially it's like as close like like you can't understand especially if it's not someone who is like literally like you were shared your whole life with them like sibling loss is so difficult because there's not many people who like are talking about it and your siblings are the only people that you are supposed to have your entire life like 98 percent of your life like you're supposed to have them growing up adulthood and then have them like once your parents are long gone like you still have your siblings so sibling loss is just like so awful and then like out of order deaths and then like losing someone who's so young I mean like it's just been god awful and to lose my little brother I mean that was I couldn't have lost anything worse running isn't very helpful trying to describe grief it feels like I'm not even gonna try like this is not even a good example but like it feels like you're at the edge you're on a cliff one day that felt fine and then you were all of a sudden there's like this crazy storm you were pushed into the water that's like 300 yards beneath you the waves are crazy you can barely breathe all you want to do is go back to shore but you don't have an option other than to like swim through the other side and like learn how to deal with it like it's not something that i feel like you ever like fully even heal from it's just something you like have to learn how to live with so with that being said like your body feels like it's on fire so often it's just like you're you just feel so weird and numb and not like yourself and brutal 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 it doesn't even do it justice trying to explain it just feels stupid because you just like can't it feels like i'm like running things out of my body if that makes any sense and i've never gone to the point where i've enjoyed running or like looked forward to it and it's something that i look forward to every day like it's not like when i'm running i'm like oh my god i'm so glad i'm running all the time but it's like i have to run to like get all this stuff out of my body and it's been very helpful so i've been using the nike run club app i love the nike run club coach bennett actually commented on my tiktok very recently so you know and i got a garmin watch 
this tan thing that's messed up. It's messed up because I haven't fixed it, but here it's messed up because of my Garmin watch. So like, who would have thought I would become a runner? Um, honestly, not me. It's 4 p.m. I'm drinking my first coffee of the day too. Like things are really, really off for me these days. Something that I'm working on, like so, I'm trying so hard, is I really want to believe like good things are coming. I heard someone say this one time and it's really resonated with me like currently of I don't feel lucky at all in life like right now with this loss but I do feel very fortunate to have the people around me that I do have like on one hand my friends are the best friends in the world and like I love my friends and at the end of the day like what I really care about in life are like my relationships so that's been I mean like to see like the ways that like my friends have shown up for me and done so many things I mean like Macy has like dried my hair for me because I couldn't move like I can't even like describe it I mean Dom was on a flight w immediately like I cannot <sighs> this like makes me really, really emotional I feel very fortunate in the sense that like my family has really come together because we've had I had such a tumultuous childhood like with my family like I didn't have that family that was like my parents are as divorced as they can get and yeah I just I don't know, I feel very fortunate that like in these times of losing like my stepbrother and my brother, like we've come together a lot closer than we ever have been because like, a lot of the time people go the opposite way. Like you really go one or the other and I feel very fortunate, not lucky, I feel very fortunate to have that be like the case. So with that being said, this past week has been very, very brutal. I had two weeks where I was like non-stop booked by the hour and that was good for me like it is good for me to be able to like compartmentalize and like do normal things and go out and like I'm not incapable of doing like normal things I will say something that's weird is that like my body or whatever it is very like in tune with things that I should and should not be doing like there's certain people that like just overnight I think I just got a lot of clarity, honestly, is what it is, but there's just certain things that overnight I was like, I, they're not even close to me, but I'm like, I know that I cannot, I'm not supposed to be in their life, or like, they're not supposed to be around me. I feel like I just got a lot of clarity around a lot of areas in my life, which has been something I like wouldn't have necessarily expected. Um, I feel like I'm like going like really on like such a tangent, but something that I'm working on right now is, and I'm trying, something that I'm really fighting through and like working through right now is believing that like god still wants good for me I know that i have so many other good things in life like with that being said i would give every single thing up in my life including my own limbs and honestly my life to have my brother back like i would do anything so it's like yes i i am so lucky in other ways and i do i have seen god show up and provide in those but like i i yes but like i am having the hardest time like thinking like good things can still happen to me I went into this year so excited about this year, feeling like it was going to be, like, such a monumental year for, like, positive reasons. And, obviously, like, January took me out, basically. And I'm back, and I'm able to do things, and, like, grief is just different, and it looks different for everyone. And I'm still doing the bare minimum, and I'm still, like, I have to be very careful, even with, like, who I'm spending my time with and who I'm around. Like, there's certain people, even friends of mine that, like, I wasn't even, like, super close with before for whatever reason... I just feel a lot like safer around I just I'm looking for like safety I think at this point but I'm just having like a really hard time thinking like good things can still happen to me I think just because I've seen and experienced so much tragic loss but I don't want to think that way like I want to believe in like in certain areas of my life I can believe like good things still happen like obviously none of them would ever compare or consolidate or make better or whatever losing my brother this is like completely separate from that i i use god because i believe in god but like you can translate this to the universe or whatever it is that you believe but like in having faith in whatever it is that like this is the unseen right? for me like i believe in god it's one of those things where i've seen god like show up in so many other areas of my life where, like i know I trust that God will do good in my friendships because I've always had such amazing friends around me. I trust that God will do things in my career, but like, specific, like one area specifically is like my like dating, like romantically, um, which I feel like this has been like more highlighted just because again, like when like going through this, I feel like I've just gotten so much clarity and like I am wanting to like fall in love. Like I 
God forbid, want to get married. Like, God forbid, you know? Like, I really do feel like I'm ready. I felt like, I felt that way for, like, a long time. But now it's like, I want good things to happen. Like, I want to fall in love. I want to be happy. I want to be spending time with my friends. I want to be doing things that are important to me. Like, I had to make a decision of, like, I'm still on this earth. Like, I have to make my life, like, a life worth living. And that doesn't necessarily mean, like, all these like career accolades like for me at the end of the day the things that matter the most to me you know like really always matter the most to me are my relationships and like my actual like life that I am living I want to like fall in love and get married and have a very healthy marriage and like plant roots and like build something like with someone else I just feel like I've built so much and I can only do so much on my own at a certain point like I do want that you know so it's like I don't know why I have such a hard time like believing that that will happen and then I feel like because I don't have like the faith that that will happen it's like I know that it will but I don't know if I believe that it will I feel like it's like this mind game that I have of like well because you don't like actually truly believe it with your whole heart it's not gonna happen like I don't know I just like get very twisted and in my head and I don't I don't want to feel that way like at all and I want to truly like believe wholeheartedly that like Good things are coming and good things are happening and there are other things like behind the scenes and good things are happening good things are coming like that is what I want to believe I think in general I'm just very antsy for change I feel like I'm on like the brink of some like not even like breakthrough but like something change like I just want change I want something different in this time of my life like not that I think I'm gonna be like healed and okay with the fact that like my brother is gone it's not that it's just that like, I have to learn how to live life with grief and navigate that in the best way that I can and the healthiest way that I can. And so, like, this summer, I really want to spend, like, a lot of time with... I want to travel a ton, but it's not necessarily because I want to go, like, to these places. It's because I want to surround myself with, like, specific people. And I love my friends here. Like, I really do. But I have, like, so many, like, amazing, very close friends, like, all over. So it's like I want to make sure that's a priority and that I'm doing that and that I'm surrounding myself in areas of like people who have like strong faith for me, like people who believe that like good things, like I just need to really watch where I am and like what I'm listening to and who I'm listening to and just like believe that something good will happen. I also, I mean, I've said this, like, the last week has been so brutal, and it's also made me think, like, with YouTube, it's like, I don't even know, like, I don't know if I should take a break from YouTube, it's just so hard for me to even film when I'm, like, so down, and I'm also, like, all over every other platform, so I get to the point sometimes, too, where I'm like, do I, like, do I keep doing YouTube? I've been doing it for 10 years, like, I'm on other platforms, like, is this where I should be spending my time? Is this what I should be doing? Do you believe I care? Like... And then I just like spiral out of control. I don't know. Like I thought about maybe I just take a month off and I don't film a month off of YouTube, not everything else. And I just like don't film and I just like focus on like my life and the people around me and like letting like new things happen. I don't know. I do have some like weird feeling that like something is coming. Like I, And maybe it's just me being delusional. <laughs> like maybe it's just because I'm so desperate for something good to happen, which is likely. But it's also like I'm trying to live from that space and like believing good things are happening and that good things will still happen to me. So I'm not like mad that I feel that way, you know? When I think about living a life that's worth living to me, it really always does come down to like the relationships and the people in my life and like I would like to meet someone. I like to be, like there's specific friends of mine that like I would like to be around more. Like I don't know, I just, I'm ready to like plant roots and like grow a life basically. I feel like I'm just... I feel like I've grown up so much, especially just in the past two years. And before, like, I loved being single and, like, being able to do whatever I wanted and, like, not having to have to answer to anyone else or whatever. But, like, I really am at a phase where I feel like I want that and I'm ready. And I don't feel like I've always felt like those two together, if that makes any sense. And more than that, I feel like I've just gotten so much clarity on what I want and I have like such a specific thing and I feel like that's what's always been hard for me in dating is like one I hate dating like I don't want to go out on a bunch of dates and like there's it doesn't there's nothing that sounds worse than that like I need to be set up through friends that, that's what needs to happen but also I have like such a specific vision that I see for my life and like I need someone who has like a similar vision and also 
isn't working like a traditional job and is able to like bop around and do different things and is creative and like like would go split time between like here in Tennessee or like out like going to LA for a month at a time or like just bopping around and just doing different projects like just being able to like be very flexible and open and live this like very big life um and not that like someone with a 9-to-5 like couldn't get there I don't it's just more so like a difference of mentality and then I need like a specific view on like the world and a sp very specific view on like faith and so it really is like such a specific kind of person you know what I mean so anyways I'm sending myself positive thoughts all right I'm like really trying I feel like I'm getting there like it's been helpful to talk to friends about it um and I'm also like never open to that stuff so it's been good also guys I don't even think I've talked about this on YouTube yet but I was on Martha Stewart TV is that not the craziest thing you've ever heard? Let me tell you the story. It, uh, I like don't really want to tell the story. I've told it on the podcast. I'm actually not going to tell it. You have to listen to the intro of Shannon Ford's podcast because I'll cry. It's a crazy, crazy story of like me ending up on Martha Stewart TV. But I am on Martha Gardens at the Ask Martha part. So season two, episode five, uh, about 1942. And at that like 1942 minute mark. Very exciting. I shot it here. Martha shot her response in New York. Obviously, that's like the craziest thing ever and I've been so excited. I found out about it like February, like late February. So I've just been waiting for it to air. And I'm just like, oh, that was literally the coolest thing ever. And my home where the episode came out too. So um, if you guys want to go, you can stream the Roku things all free. Like it's, you can watch Roku on the app. Martha Gardens, season two, episode five. And then my Homeworthy house tour is out. I love Homeworthy. I watch their house tours all the time. So I was so excited when they reached out because like I it was like a dream of mine anyways. I probably would have reached out to them at some point. So my Homeworthy episode is out and available now. Hopefully we can do like a Christmas tour as well. I love their stuff. If you guys like home design, like you love Homeworthy. I really, really love it. Hi y'all. It is now Tuesday. So it's been... A little bit I tried to vlog yesterday my camera died and then honestly the past few days have just been brutal and I'm trying to like get myself in a good mood for today we are throwing that surprise party today so I need to be like you know on the, the up and up I I've literally never said that in my life I don't know why I just said that I have meetings starting in like 45 minutes and I have a 30 minute run that I need to do right now it is raining I mean it's not really raining it's just kind of slightly drizzling even though it says 0% on the weather app today I just drink pre-workout so I'm feeling very jittery but I need to just run this out and then I think I will feel better and then we've got to get some things done today I need to get my nails done side note from everything I need to do not like the influencer list of get your nails done but like they're so outgrown that they're in pain and I need like I have to do that I'm putting it off for days so anyways today's goal is to be a little bit more emotionally stable and feel a little bit better this has been a rough week um some weeks I do better than others this week has been rough we're gonna get together have my powders pre-workout my water also like I've barely been drinking coffee because that's how bad my anxiety has been like I've just had such bad anxiety that I've like stopped drinking coffee which is crazy for me you guys see the vlogs you know what are y'all if y'all are runners like me sorry this has literally been a run vlog so far what headphones do you guys use because like I don't mind these but I don't mind these but everyone's always replying to my stories saying they're like crazy to run with and that they'll be way too hot when it gets hotter this summer it's kind of been nice with the rain though because it's like literally in the 70s right now and it's June that like doesn't happen <sighs> okay I just finished a 30 minute run I ran I think like 2.6 miles like very slow pace but the wind was coming at me and the rain was coming at me like this wasn't as bad as oh toxic this wasn't as bad as like what my actual run of the rain was that I did a couple weeks ago and it was like pouring and I like just had to run and I came back and I was literally soaked it was kind of fun <sighs> but like oh my god it was tough so anyways I have to hop on a call in 10 minutes and I'm just gonna take it my car and then go home and get on the rest of them been on a bunch of calls I just planned out the friend of mine like IG feed and it looks so good and we're just making some good moves we're making some progress feeling a little bit better also I got a PR package from coach which was so crazy follow me on Instagram this little journal like how cute another thing guys if you followed me during my college days this journal is a different color actually maybe it was this color might ring a bell because I was so obsessed with these journals from Barnes & Noble. I don't know what it is about them. I just loved them. They're like my life journals more so. Um, but I bought like 
five of them in a row and then they stopped selling them. We never saw them again and I went back with Ali last week because she came to visit and we found it. So got that. Anyways, back in my so back in my journaling era. 4 p.m. rolled around, the sun was out. Guys, seriously, I'm so sorry by the way, but how much I mentioned the rain in this video. Like if you guys knew what we were going through this past week, you would understand. Also, I could never live in Seattle. That's what I've learned, okay? I used to love the rain. Now it's horrible, okay? Anyways, it was time to set up Maisie's belated by four months or eight month early birthday party. We had just a couple, like honestly, like her closest friends over and it was so much fun. I got Jersey Mike's. We had all of our favorite drinks. You guys liquidate your assets, of course. My new floats from Fun Boy, the signs from Amazon. Leslie got Susie cakes um, and we all just like hung out, sat outside. It was so much fun. We wore our mosquito bracelets, if you know, you know. I love how this looks, like I'm just obsessed. And I brought out my cute little new Mackenzie Childs tray. I'm obsessed. So I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready for Macy's belated surprise birthday party. I got her some funny things. These are all on Amazon also. Look at my cute new fun boy wrote. They look weird because they like sync together, but it's fine. We have cute little birthday things. We have birthday glasses. We also have birthday hats. But I think we're gonna end up wearing the glasses. And then Macy has a birthday girl sash and a birthday girl crown. She's gonna hate it, it's amazing. So y'all over here, I'll show you. We have our favorite drinks, which Macy loves the spritz, but she doesn't really drink that much alcohol. And like, it's a school night, so. Um, these actually just happened to get sent to me. I don't know actually how to pronounce the name. I just know that this is my favorite non-alcoholic brand, one of them. I love their other ones that I had in like January. They're so good. And it's a spritz, but it like actually tastes really good. You know how a spritz is gonna like taste bad? But if you get them right, they taste amazing. And all summer long, I just wanna be at my pool with the spritz and like this is perfect. Gives you the same vibe. Like if I were to put this over ice in like my wine glass, like it would feel like I'm drinking an actual spritz. I think we're gonna see the plastic stuff just so like clean up easier tonight. But I have my cute little McKinsey Child's tray out here. And then I also put some, um, Olipops on there that are her favorite and then we're gonna have like a liquidating your assets thing I guess I should like update you guys on what we're doing I would say the best part about throwing a surprise belated birthday party is that it is so low stress because they're never gonna guess that you're throwing them a surprise birthday party when their birthday was four months ago. So I would actually really recommend this. As you can see here, she was very taken aback. She was actually not very taken aback. She was just very confused. Um, if you guys want like cute videos of the night and stuff, they're on my TikTok and on my Instagram. We had the best time here. She just was a little bit confused, you know, because her birthday is February 16th. Happy birthday. Um, hey, hey, were you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm on, on my list of things I thought was gonna happen tonight, <laughs> Not a birthday party. No. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is a Wednesday morning. I am running out the door to get a run in before my weightlifting class. Today is a very short run. I think I have like a 22 minute speed run. I have a four miler this week, which I've never ran four miles. So I'm a little bit scared about that, but I haven't had the short of a run in a bit. So fine by me. The party last night was so fun. Macy obviously had absolutely no idea. So it was a really cute, fun night. Uh, today I need to go, something that I'm looking forward to doing is I am going shopping for a second. So the new Reformation opened in North Park and they invited me in and then I have this other vintage shop I wanna go to and I need to get a facial. So today's actually a really easy day. I really just need it. I feel like I've just been in fight or flight for so long. All right, y'all, I'm feeling better than I have been the past like, week. I just made some coffee, I made breakfast, I've been getting some work done. I just sent in three new things. It's really one thing, but different colorways to get samples from a friend of mine, which I'm really excited for. We have a new product launching at the end of the month and it's one that I am like over the moon about. Like I just think it's so cute and it's so amazing and it's just perfect. I just remembered another email I need to respond to, but I'm going to head out. I need to get my car washed. I need to go to this vintage store to get new jeans. I need to go to Reformation. I need to get a facial. Hard day, I know. Um, but honestly, I deserve this today. I really do. And then tonight I'll come home and work.
I'm at Reformation right now. It's so insane. So I'm in the dressing room. Hello. And then, well, you add things here and they bring them in there and you open it and they're there. I'm going to get a facial. Thank God my skin has felt awful all week. Microneedling, my favorite. I go to Germani, mention my name for money off. It's the best and the best prices for literally everything. I do everything here. Here's my skin now. It's a little crazy. I just stopped to do a bit of vintage shopping and then I just got tired and overwhelmed and I, I'm going home. Um, my skin feels so tight, but getting microneedling done, it's the best thing ever. My skin feels so tight, but microneedling is the best thing ever. Happy Thursday, y'all. It's 8 a.m. I'm going on a walk. This is my coffee. My body is sore. This morning, I have another Brain Codes appointment. Brain Codes is like brain wrapping and neurofeedback. It helps a lot with anxiety, it helps a lot with focus, it helps a lot with brain fog. I felt like I had made a lot of progress prior to losing Cody. And I will say, like, if I wouldn't have done Brain Codes prior to this, I don't know how I would have survived because. It has it like qu has quieted my mind. Like before, I feel like everything was always so fight or flight. I just know I can tell the difference that brain codes has made because normally my like anxiety aspect of it, like it would have just been so much worse. I can just tell a big difference. So, anyways, I'm back going. Um, and I literally just sit there. They attach things to my brain, and I watch Gilmore Girls. And then they just like it's like you wear these headphones, and it's like rewarding your brain for doing the right thing. So anyways, we go to that, and then I am going a blowout. Tonight we have Stitch Club. I need to pack for Miami tomorrow. Update on my skin. The redness is not even that bad at all. I'm not gonna put makeup on for 24 hours, but it put hyaluronic acid on this morning, which I put the wrong, the wrong one on. I didn't realize I told it was too late, but still, like, it's crazy. I'm getting so much stuff done. This is like a maintenance week, I guess, but uh, maintenance week is crazy. Hi, hey, y'all, I'm back. I got a blowout. I feel so much better. I'm tanning tonight. Like, it's all gonna be better. Um, I just got dressed for the day. Here is my fit. My skirt and my top are Abercrombie. I probably should have done like one size smaller. I don't know, it just fits a little weird. This vest I just got is from Danza Matter. Then I'm wearing my favorite boots, Jacoba's, Josie. They're my all time favorite. I wear them all the time. Um, we're gonna do. Oh, okay, no. I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul because I actually have quite some stuff yesterday I actually got a package from Abercrombie this dress which I feel like is gonna be so cute with the right Accessories like I just think it's such a flattering fit and I love this I just ordered a ton of jewelry that I'm really excited for this summer. They also got me this dress It's also red. I have a lot of red today. This was supposed to be black, but I think they were out of black um really really cute you can just like throw it on and it's so comfortable i love this i'm always wearing like, long dresses honestly guys i need to go through my closet and just get rid of a ton of stuff and donate so much stuff i feel like i'm always doing that i really need to now that i have all my summer stuff out because i'm like i just need to i need to like get to that coach the bag they sent me look at how cute it is this cute little green bag i love coach I oh it actually looks really cute with this outfit. Um so cute. You can wear it like this, you can wear it crossbody. I think it's so fun. The cute little green moment. Like I love this bag. And I want to get back to wearing outfits that I'm actually like excited about. I feel like I haven't really gotten ready in a bit. I was sent these Pilates socks, which are really, really cute. I think they're Dallas based teeny a bit stronger and then hot girls do pilates i've been wanting to get back into reformer pilates so excited for those I ordered four of these during memorial day the mondai sands self tanning foam and ultra dark this is the tanner that dom had from pr at her house and i used it when i was in la and it gave me the best tan of my life so i literally ordered four because they were on sale and I'm gonna tan with these tonight. They're amazing. It's always really nice to have like backup. If I love a product. Like I, if it's on sale, I will buy like 15 of them. Moving on to a swimsuit haul from NYX. I got this cute little suit with this top. I just thought it was fun. It's kind of giving mom 
Like, my mom would probably wear this swimsuit, but that's fine, you know? My mom has good taste, so cute. I also got this. I didn't know how to feel about it. Like, I honestly felt weird about it, and they're supposed to be, like, period swimsuits or something like that. This skirt, it's, like, giving tankini, but I thought this would be kind of just fun to, like, have. I will say it sits a little low rise. Like, if I were to have bought this in person, I probably wouldn't have bought this. I wish it just sat up a little bit higher on my stomach. And then, um, just a triangle bikini. I mean, I'll definitely still wear it. Most of the time when I'm in a swimsuit on my house anyways. So, love that. And then I got two. I actually got three from Abercrombie. I ordered them for Memorial Day as well. The blue one that I wore to Macy's. I will say I got the curl up tops, being really excited about them. But they're almost, like, too much coverage. I'm gonna keep them just because they're still good suits. But it's just, like... They're, it, they're very high coverage, so if that's what you want, Curve Love is amazing. Like, look at how cute this pattern is with this little rib design. And then, also, the bottoms. But I feel like I should have sized down a little bit. I got the same suit. Macy actually also got this one. I thought this was really cute. Maybe I accidentally did a good... No, it is. I thought this one was like... This is so cute. Very, like, Meredith Blake. And then... I love this. Like, so, so, so cute. From Hill House, I ordered two long skirts because my vibe for the summer are ballet flats, long skirts, tank tops, lots of jewelry, hair up. That's what I'm doing. So I got these two because it's just so hard to find the right, like, maxi skirt. I feel like I got so much from Princess Polly and they're not exactly what I want and these are exactly what I want. They're definitely pricier. But if I'm gonna like wear them all the time, I feel like it's worth it. And also, like, it just looks cute. Even with these boots, like, I love. I could have worn this today, actually. Like, this would even look cute with what I'm wearing right now. So I got this striped one. And then I also got just this navy one because navy is like my favorite color right now. I will be wearing these literally all summer. And if I really like them enough, I'm gonna buy them in more colors because I feel like they're just the perfect staple. From Reformation yesterday, I got two things. I'm really excited about both of these pieces. So, this one I'm going to wear this weekend in Miami. Um, we're actually going to West Palm. But, like, look at how cute this is. And I think I'm going to do cute little slides or something with them. The right earrings. It's just so fun. Like, I think this is the cutest dress. I don't like how it's showing wrinkled. Um, I sized down, by the way. And I maybe could have sized down twice because... Reformation just runs really big and then I got this top which I'll probably wear in Miami in two weeks With a matching red skirt. It needs to be steamed But really cute very elevated very classy Which is kind of like the vibe I'm going for these days um, I think that that is Pretty much it. I did get stuff from Dams and Matter. Oh Oops what this vest that I'm wearing right now, the red jacket that you guys saw, and then also this top. I got it really oversized, but I think I either should have gotten one size up or just gotten smaller because now it's actually like really hard to style because it's right at the point where it's like a centimeter too short to be a dress, but a little bit too big to just wear over stuff, so I don't know. Once I'm tan, maybe if I wear this like with jeans or something, I like the idea of it being like buttoned up all the way too because it has a really cool collar if you can tell here um i love jams and matter they have the coolest like most unique pieces and i just think they are the best i feel like that's everything i wanted to show y'all i think so i think we're good tonight we have stitch club a friend of mine and then tomorrow i'm leaving for miami to go visit liz and it is like a much needed girls weekend where we can just like chill and hang out but I think I'm going to take at least a week off YouTube, maybe two weeks I have a friend coming and then I'm leaving again, and honestly, just day to day, I'm like really having a hard time and I can do the other stuff, like I can do podcasting because it's like I have a time and a place and then I can like clock in, clock out. With filming YouTube videos, it's hard because I'm like filming my life and one, it isn't, I don't feel good, like grief is... I feel like, like with my friends, like, in a day-to-day, -day, like, I'm okay, but, like, grief is really ugly, and it makes me feel very, like, gross, and then I don't necessarily want to film myself during that, and then also, on top of that, I feel like I'm, like, 
like, okay, well, I can't deal with this, or I need to stop crying because it's a film and stuff. And I just, like, I just need a break, basically, is, like, what I'm getting at. Could be a week. It could be a month. I honestly have no idea. I love vlogging, so maybe there will be days when I'm home and I don't have visitors that I feel like filming. I don't know. I'll be on TikTok and Instagram and podcasts and stuff. Watch the podcast. There is still a weekly podcast video being posted to YouTube. But honestly, I think I just like need to do this for myself and I think I just need to go live my life like more than anything not that like YouTube doesn't allow me to do that like I love YouTube and I'm so grateful for it and it's given me like literally everything in my life but I just don't feel like I'm in a place where I can give you guys like good content and feel good about it and feel good about myself in the content because even when I'm trying to like get my point across or speak my mind or my feelings because I'm so anxious, it comes off, like, different than how I feel, necessarily, if that makes any sense. So, I think I'm just gonna take, it could be a week, it could be a month, who knows? I really just, in the next couple of weeks, want to live my life and try to feel the best that I can. I'm still gonna be, I'm not, like, not working, like, I'm still gonna be doing all the other stuff. Um, but, just as far as YouTube goes, when it's, like, filming my day-to-day, -day, I just don't feel amazing like I need to give myself space and time and I need to go experience things that I wouldn't be filming anyways like I need to go do things with people that like I wouldn't be vlogging anyways so I love you guys um I'm really sorry if you happen to care about the vlogs I will be back I love YouTube it's always been like my main thing it's like my favorite thing but actually I don't even think it's my main th I, like my career has evolved a lot but I don't know. I'll be everywhere else. It's really not going to be that big of a difference or that big of a deal. And hopefully when I come back, the videos will be better. And not that I think I'm going to be like, fine. But I, I just hope that when I'm back, I'm in like a better headspace. Right now, I just, I need a break from just YouTube. I can do the rest of the stuff. And my day-to-day, -day, honestly, is pretty boring anyways because so much of it is running my business friend of mine. So, anyways, I love you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me think of anything else I need to say before I log off for, it could literally be a week and I'm back and I'm like, I'm <laughs> just kidding guys, that was a joke. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys are just living your lives to the fullest, doing everything you've ever wanted to do. Comment below where y'all are watching from. Um, I love y'all so much and I will see you in my next video or on the podcast YouTube channel this week. Like, I'm literally, we post every single Thursday. We've got our episodes good to go and done. And, yeah. Love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.